Hey everybody, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today we're talking about getting organized, doing some efficient workflow goodness with metadata inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, if that sounds horribly boring, I have certainly thought that in the past, but over the last few months, I've learned a valuable lesson. Being organized is so helpful for actually doing things well and doing things quickly, all right? Your mom was right. <sighs> she was right. Case in point, check this out. We're working on a rough cut of a short film, right? This is our first scene where she's in a hotel room. And then our next scene is she's at a location. And we have this scene in the middle where she's driving to the location. Now let me show you something that's gonna blow your mind. Up here in the media pool, go up to this little icon that says metadata view, and we'll sort by scene and shot. And check this out. Scene one, shot one, take one, scene one, Shot one, scene one, shot two. These are all in order that they're supposed to be for our finished edit. So check this out. Scene two, shot one. Double click this, set an in and out, and drag it to the timeline. Scene two, shot two. Click that, set my in and out, drag it to the timeline. Scene two, shot three. You get the idea? Check this out. Of course, I have my ins and outs set already, but you can page through and figure out whatever ins and outs you want, but everything's already in order. And so you can assemble your rough cut pretty quickly. Now, how in the world do we get this going on? What is this dark magic, black magic? Wait a minute. You know, I've done hundreds of tutorials. and I don't think I've ever made a black magic joke. I think that's the first one. Wow. Well, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is this doesn't happen automatically, but the good news is it's pretty easy to set up. Here's how I like to do that. Down here in our media page, let's just go back to media. When I imported these clips, I spent some time tagging them. And you can do that in the media page. And if you just select whatever clips you want to tag, and then over here on the right, we have our metadata panel, which shows us all kinds of information about our clips, including time code and frame, bit depth, all that stuff. But if we go to this little sort button, we can select whatever details we want to view or edit. And one of them is shot and scene. And now we have a massive amount of data that we can add to any clip that we have selected. We can add description, comments, keywords, as well as fill in whatever scene and shot and everything that we have. So what I did was go through each of these clips. First of all, you can select all of them and say whatever scene you want. If you want scene two, you can type that in. And if you have multiple clips selected, it'll add a little check mark here. And then you hit save and that will save the metadata for all of those clips. And then I can go through each shot and say, okay, which shot is this supposed to be in our storyboard or shot list or whatever? If you did it right, you should be able to look at the slate and figure out the shot number. And it takes a little bit of a little, takes a little bit of media management here. But once you have that, it makes your rough cut really easy. And it also makes things a lot easier to find later. By the way, all of this footage is from our new training Resolve 17 end to end, where I walk you through this process in detail, as well as making a rough cut doing final edits, visual effects, color correction, sound design and mixing all the way to final render. It's a huge training, it's 18 hours long. If you've been looking for a deep dive on DaVinci Resolve, this is the most practical training that you can get. So make sure to check that out, groundcontrol.film. So once we have everything tagged, so we have, this is shot three, scene one, take one. Like I said, we can even add all kinds of info, like this is the day, the environment is a car, shot type is a close up. And you can get just as detailed as you want. There's certainly a threshold here of getting too crazy. But the more that I work in post-production, the more I realize it's kind of hard to get too crazy. I don't think it would be a terrible idea to fill out the description and everything if you have time to do that, especially if you're going to be working with other people. Like if you're prepping media for somebody else, or if this is going to be a project that lasts months and months, getting organized on the front end, I think is a really, really good idea. And there isn't just shot and scene, there's all kinds of things. There's camera details, which you could fill in if you wanted to, tech details, all this kind of stuff that you can just get as detailed as you want. It just keeps going, nuts. And all of that lives with the clip inside of DaVinci Resolve. And here in the media pool, in any of these pages, you can sort by a lot of these different kinds of metadata. So you could sort by camera, if you have multiple cameras, sort by time code, but yeah, scene and shot, really useful. And honestly, if we do this, we could really just grab all of these clips. This isn't quite perfect, but we could grab all of these clips and throw them in the timeline. And we essentially have our movie in order. It would need a ton of editing and there's multiple different takes 
and everything. Some of the shots will probably want to switch around, but it's not a bad way to start a rough edit, honestly. So that whole metadata thing, give it a try. I think it's, I think it's pretty neat. Here's a link to the training. Give her a gander. What is this, a 50s sitcom? Why don't you go on over there and give her a gander, you know? Let's just go down to the general store, see if they have any sarsaparilla. <laughs> uh, sarsaparilla.